Hi, in this video I will show you a very quick way of uh, building a geometric Brownian motion. Um, to some people it's not necessarily obvious how to do that and um, yeah, there's a really simple way of doing it. And one of the really interesting things uh, with geometric Brownian motion is that it uses uh, re uh, returns, percentage returns, and what that means is that when we have a really high uh, total value of our series, say uh, we model an equity and uh, it's a price at $100, uh, then most likely the um, returns at that $100 will be much higher than when the equity price drops to say $1. And so the, um, the fluctuations in the price then will be much less. So at the price of $100, we expect perhaps fluctuations of, say, plus minus one, two dollars, whereas at a total price of one dollar or mean price of one dollar, our fluctuations will just be in the range of a few cents. So um, let's just um, build that. And for that, what we need is uh, a return series. Um, and so we just uh, build a series of some random numbers. So we call that x equals um, random dot or rand n normal distributed random numbers and say in our case um, we just produce a thousand random numbers. Okay, so um, one way we could uh, produce a time series is if we just add up those random numbers. Um, but we're not going to do that here. We actually uh, will uh, produce a geometric Brownian motion. And I forgot one thing that is probably useful uh, to this um, random number here. We should add some value of uh, volatility. And I chose just an arbitrary value here. Uh, let's say a volatility of uh, 0 0.1. So this is really uh, the standard deviation of our returns x. So let's do that. And now in order to produce our time series, we say, for example, k. And instead of a cumulative sum, we use a cumulative product. And uh, we say a cumulative product of uh, x. But it's not actually x. It's 1 plus x. Because if we just multiply all the x's, because they're all uh, less than um, less than one, and in, in fact, they, most of them are close to zero. Uh, we just really quickly just uh, go down to a zero value. So um, okay, here we uh, have the cumulative product of one uh, plus x, and if we want to have a starting value, say of a hundred dollars, we just multiply that by one hundred, and so uh, here we have our k. And in order to see what we get, our geometric Brownian motion, we just plot k. And um, let's see what we have here. So we started at $100, and then the price drops quite dramatically. And as you can see here, as the price is lower, you can see that the fluctuations are actually smaller. And as the price increases, our fluctuations will increase as well. So that is really all there is uh, to uh, modeling uh, geometric Brownian motion in a Monte Carlo way. Of course, um, you can add uh, autocorrelations and all sorts of things to that. And I have explained it in a previous video. So uh, put your hand on it, see how it works, and see you soon for the next video.